Hello, active readers. I'm uh, I'm hiding. It's uh, the school is a scary place this week, and you know what? I like stories, but I don't like scary stories. I'm just not very good with them. And and there is scariness all around at the moment. I was just walking through the library, and there is a, a whole shelf which is covered in really yucky spider webs, and there are, there are bats flying around, and. And I see scary books wherever I look, I just don't know what to do. And so I thought, you know what, I'm going to hide because I want to talk to you before the holiday starts. And so um, here we're safe. Uh, we're in a place here where there are no nasty big shadows lurking in corners. We're okay because I've locked myself in here and no one can get in here. So I've got a few books that I, I think you should know about. And one of them is Fever Code by James Dashner. It's the latest in the Maze Runner series. Isn't that cool? I've got several copies, so you can come and pick one up and take it on holiday with you. And I've got, and this looks actually a little bit scary, but I think it might be a good book. The latest in the uh, Magnus Chase series by uh, Rick Riordan. Uh, wonderful, and what a great holiday. Uh, thickness of book that is. It'll last you through the whole week. And the other one, which is a lovely one, is The Trials of Apollo. Adventure, action, hopefully not too scary, unless you really like that. And then, oh my goodness, I didn't pick these books up. How did this happen? Ah, The Curse of the Mummy's Tomb. Ah. It looks really awful. And this one, oh gosh, be careful what you wish for. Oh, really? And this is, I think, the most scary one. He's got a heart of cold. It says, beware the snowman. Do you dare to read these? Do you think you might actually want to try these for Halloween? Well, I actually read this one myself, the graveyard book. Well, I didn't think it was very scary. I thought it was a wonderful book. It's about ghosts and graves and little boys living in a graveyard. Unbelievable. I thought it was a great read. So for Halloween and you're not into really, really scary, just pretend you're reading a really scary book, the graveyard book. It's a wonderful read. And this one, Magic Adventure. A bit scary every now and then, but I could take this one as well. So this is the last one in the Harry Potter series. If you haven't read the others, you need to read those first. Uh, lots of magic and fantasy. So, everything's cool in here. Nothing scary going on here. I just need to talk to the grade sevens about the fact that their reading challenge needs to be as finalized this week. If you want to sign up as a team, do it before Wednesday. If you don't want to be a team, but you do want to read the books, you're very welcome to. So come to the library to sign out your copy of either Counting by Sevens and or Skink by Carl Hiasen. Both amazing reads, so don't miss out on that. And uh, for the ones who will sign up this week, I will contact you as soon as possible to make a, a strategic plan for preparation and reading of these books so that you can have the best chance of winning the uh, final uh, quiz on the, on the Grade 7 Reading Challenge. Uh, the Grade 6s are also going to have a reading challenge and uh, that will happen after the holiday. So during the holiday, the grade sixes are uh, warmly encouraged to read anything and everything that they like. And so one of the reasons you may want to do that is because we're still planning the night at the library. Oh, I don't know why I'm doing this because I'm, I'm not sure I can actually, I'm not brave enough to do a whole night at the library, but I've promised to organize it. So. Oh well, we'll do it. Maybe you will have to help me fight the monsters that live here at night. Anyway, where I am now is safe. So I'm going to say have a lovely, lovely holiday. Uh, be careful at Halloween. Uh, make sure you don't uh, eat too many sweets because your teeth will fall out. And make sure you don't get eaten by a monster. Ah!